Hello there, I am David DeFranco from Squarespace Summit over at sspacesummit.com. This video tutorial is definitely one of my favorite ones, and I think you guys will find this very useful. And that's setting up custom banners per page. So first of all, let me give you a brief tour of my website's main navigation over at davidefranco.com. This is my homepage and where it says welcome to my new website, a lot has certainly changed. Click below to read all about it and clicking that call to action button where it says learn more takes the user to my blog post. And that is a great example of custom banners because they can go a long way. So furthering my example, let's click on my work. And as you can see, my custom banner says this is my work. Tools and resources says use what I use and finally contact simply says let's talk now as you can see I'm highlighting these characters meaning yes this is real-time text which means yes once again I can change this per page this is a very powerful feature that in my opinion goes a long way it allows you to customize the appearance of each page to your liking so to do this, let's get started by pressing the escape key on our keyboard and this brings up the website manager view and then click on pages and then select any page that you prefer to customize. So for this video's example, let's go to my work and then click on the small gear icon next to that page title and right there on the right side, we have an overlay up here with plenty of options to customize. But for this video's purpose, we will primarily want to focus on this part called description. Now, as you can see, the text is bolded. This is how Squarespace automatically displays custom banners. If the text is bolded, it will be a larger style of that text. So, for example, let's debold this text. Is that even a word, debold? And save the changes. Now, as you can see, my text is tiny. It's tiny to the point where it's kind of a joke. So let's go back into that pages settings overlay by clicking the gear icon and let's bold my description text. Click save and boom, I have my custom banner text back and fully working. Now, what if you wanted to create a call to action button in your custom banner? This is also huge. To do that, go back into that same overlay by clicking the gear icon. Then under description, let's include a new link. Test link. We don't necessarily have to bold it, so let's click bold again. There you go. And now let's click the link icon. And well, let's just put google.com as an example. And then click save. Now, as you can see, Squarespace automatically included a call to action button. This is huge and I just really, really appreciate this feature. Okay, so clicking this call to action button automatically goes to google.com in a new tab. This is incredibly useful because again, if you go to my personal website's homepage over at davidfranco.com, I'm currently using this feature to showcase my newest blog post right here where it says learn more. Click that and bam, you can see my blog post right there, nice and easy. It just works. So there you have it. I really hope you enjoyed this information. But of course, don't forget, you're always free to contact me with any questions or comments that you may have. Just simply go to sspacesummit.com slash contact and send me a message. I will see you in my next video.